What's up everyone? Electronic search here, back with another video. This is um a so far video of the sixth half of City of Villagers. Sorry, I haven't made these videos in a while now. It's been a very long time since I last made one. We have a lot of stuff to review. And I mean a lot, so this video is definitely going to be going an hour long. Um, so this is part four, of course. Again, we have a lot of stuff to review other than the library that we had last time. What happened? What happened? Why is it frozen? What is it doing? Oh, there we go. So, as you can see, here's the sixth half of COV thing. I don't understand why these chunks aren't loading. This is just ridiculous. Wow. Why did he kick me out? I'm supposed to be over here. No, stop. Where is it? Why'd he put those bricks here? Come on. Wow, this is so laggy. And it just disappeared. Alright, let me let these chunks, uh, this chunk stuff load in. Because apparently it's trying to be mean here. Alright, where is this? The search. Where to go? Where'd they put it? Oh, there it is. Hold on. I, I, I don't know why it's not working. This is ridiculous. Wow. Alright, yeah, so this is part four. Um, last video was filmed two months ago. So let me just go to sleep here real quick. I don't understand why it's nighttime. Could have sworn it was daytime the last time. Played it. Alright, let's just go to sleep real quick. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. Probably wasted plenty of time already. Come on, why is he taking so long to sleep? Alright, you know what? It, it's, it shouldn't take this long to go to sleep. Or to wake up. Just time set day. I'm not going to be playing games with this Minecraft right now. Alright, so... Here's the library in the last video. In the last video I said that this wouldn't this wasn't finished yet. But now it's it's finished as you could tell there's books in there. So, we're going to get right into it. I could have sworn I already reviewed the library, but I'm not sure if I did. So, here's all the last stuff that we reviewed. I already did that. So, here's the library. Of course, we still have our COV transport thing going under it. That's why this has that type of thing above it. So here's this side of the library. Um, the front. The other front, that's back here. The side. And here's the other back. And the other side. So yeah. 
And of course, here is the top. I do not understand what this iron golem is doing on top of this library. This is ridiculous. Get off! What an idiot. We always have to work with these iron golem junk. Like, this is ridiculous. I'm probably going to disable them again. So there's the top. And these staircases right here going down. So let's go ahead and go in. So here's the main entrance down here. But this is also the main entrance, except this takes you directly to the second story. But if you want to use the first story, then you can go in through here. Or you can just use the staircase that we have in there. So here it is going in. Of course, not 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 much news things. Like, it's literally just a plain old library. So right over here we have enchanting tables. This was built a very long time ago. Like, two months ago. There's more bookshelves and stuff. Why is he looking at me like that? This is ridiculous. So we have some lanterns on top of these bookshelves. I do not understand what this iron golem is doing inside of the library. This is ridiculous. Okay. It's time to grow up. I cannot, I just, I just cannot, look, 48 iron golems, wow. And this is all just slowing down the game. This is just sad. So there is all those bookshelves, those, um, lecterns, and yeah, I already reviewed all that stuff. We have this vintage fire alarm thing. Another lantern up there above the doorway. For lighting, we have glowstone. And we have some smoke detectors up there, which are also known as uh, polished blackstone buttons. That's the new type of smoke detector other from the, from the old ones. Let me just show you them. What was the old building that we used the smoke detector stuff in? Here, let me just take my building, for example. Why is it lagging? Should be over here somewhere. I don't understand where it is. Where'd it go? Go up there. I could have sworn there were smoke detectors in here. Where'd they go? Okay, for some reason they're not in here. Somebody took them down. So we're just gonna go in here instead. Um, no, they're still not showing up. Where are the smoke detector stuff? Where'd it go? Why is it lagging? Get down the stair. This is the fifth half of COV, so I'm not expecting much. Alright, let's... Right, this building should have it. You've got to be kidding me. What happened to all the smoke detectors? The old type, not the new type. Where'd it... Where'd all of it go? I un I don't understand who took them off. Let's just take this grocery store. Okay. Alright, there should be smoke detectors in here. Finally, there it is. So there's the old type. I already showed you this in the last type. And that's, that's probably heat detector. I don't know what that is. So there it is. It just had a white glass paint in it when it was brand new. But since it's old, it's now yellow. But we replaced them with new ones. Well, they're not really new. I don't know where he's going. So 
So now the new ones are those. They're playing buttons. So yeah, there's the first story. There's another one up there now. Obviously, this this building is filled with those because you know books and stuff. So um, the fire alarm system does work on the fir fourth story, but the second story it's it's only manual. Like for example, right back here in this box is the lever. So if I um, flick this, you'll be able to hear the bells. So here we go, three, two, one. So this is going to be pretty loud. I don't hear it. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Forgot I turned my, my thing off. Still don't hear it. For some reason, they're coming out of my computer speakers. Hold on. That's the best I can do. This is some kind of Minecraft bug. They still haven't fixed it. It's been like this for a year now. Um, like, if you turn on the Minecraft thing, you cannot hear the sound. It goes through the PC speakers for some reason. I know it's it's stupid, but it's, it's, it's not funny. So here's there. There is also an outdoor one right up here. You just can see the redstone signal back there. All right, let me turn this off. And close that up. So yeah, so again for the second for the second story it's it's manual. You cannot flick any levers to set them off. It's manual, you just have to click the bell. So yeah. Alright, time for the second story. By the way, these lights have these staircases on them. So it looks like modern ish like this. Here's the second story. Again, it's still just plain old books. For lighting, we have glowstone. As you can see, there's glowstone coming out all around here. We still have this dude up here. Again, it's manual, which means you have to click it. You cannot flick a redstone connection to it. So that right here, we have some books. Bookshelves, I mean. And over here, we have the same. And up here, this is obviously the enchanting area. So we have some enchanting tables here. As well as lecterns for librarians. Like this dude. He's just a no vice. Of course we have lanterns here. Like so. And we have another one of these smoke detectors here. Another one over there. And here's the little hallway that takes you um to that small little compartment. It's only one story. So yeah, it's literally just a two-story building with um what do you call it? With bookshelves and lecterns and enchanting tables. So here it is. It's literally just a hallway with lanterns. We have some lecterns and another enchanting table right here. Another one over here, and lecterns over here. It goes all the way over there, lanterns all around here. Some bookshelves up there for decoration. These aren't being used, like, you cannot reach them. We have another one of these fire alarm, vintage fire alarm stuff. There's more bookshelves. Another smoke detector, another one of those. So yeah, so now when you come down, we have two more bookshelves here. Another big vintage fire alarm that's staring directly at you. And we have glowstone lighting, lighting up the stairs. And um, I this used to be open, but I closed it down with these bookshelves. All of this back here is just filled with with um these quartz stairs and everything else is blocked off by glowstone is to prevent mobs from spawning behind the staircase. 
So yeah. We have another smoke detector up here. We have triple window right there. And of course, our doorway. And now, we're on the other side of the exit, which is over there. This also can be used as a crossing bridge to cross the railroad system. Like, you, you can use these too, but it's, it's not necessary to use the library. But it's just a cool design that I put in there. So yeah, and here's the small little thing here. Just quartz stairs, smooth, smooth. Oh yeah, and there's these windows with that smoke detector in them. So here it is. Like so, there's the other side. This side. This side. Over there, and right over here, we have some librarians working. And here's the doorway to the exit. So yeah, pretty cool. Well, the design is mostly pretty cool, but as you can see, like, right up here. And stuff. It also goes for this side, too. <laughs> Excuse me, as you could see, the exact same thing. We also have garbage cans here in the corner right next to the grocery store. They're all empty because I never use these. We also have a path going out to the seventh half of COV, which is not being built yet, but it will eventually. So yeah, right here we have building a big factory with house. So what this basically is, is a big factory with houses built into it. So on every story, there's a bed, bedroom, as you can see, keep on going up. Now, I'm not done building it. There is one more story to go to it. And we do have the bedroom completed of it. But, the the video will be coming out eventually. And I'm not going to review this again. Uh, instead, if you want me to review this again, you can go and watch that video. Um, I have a series on it. I think there's like five parts to it. Let me see. Let me just search it up. Build. Building a factory. A big factory. My bad. Building a big fac. Uh, Tory. With house. Alright, so here it is. Building a big factory with house, part one. And then we have part two, part part eight, for some reason it's coming up right now. Part seven, part four, part five, part three, part six. So yeah, and all that stuff. So, yeah. I made the video one month ago, the part one. And then the part eight was three weeks ago. And we need one more story, and we are going to be completed with this thing. So, yeah. Um, right over here, we still have our trading station thing. Not training uh, station. Um, our train station that still keeps on going up all the way to the center. We have a raid alert siren right over here, so when you flick this lever... This bell will sound, and underground, there is a lot more bells, and if there is a raid going on, if there's a raid going on, you flick that lever, and all of these will be going off. So, you've already seen these multiple times, but here's another one, right next to the big factory. Right, 
right over here we have something a little bit different than the usual underground bedrooms that we have. So you know, you might know what these uh, underground bedrooms are. We've uh, had quite a lot of them. Okay, this cat is running around. So like, for example, right over here, this is the fourth half of COV. Right under here, we have an underground bedroom, as you can see. Now this, this one that we have here in the sixth half, Where'd the chunks go? What the heck? Load the chunks. Alright, right here. This is, um, branded I bedroom. Toll free. So it's an underground bedroom. And we have a new brand. It's called branded I. So it's branded I. And we did something different here. We rised this grass stuff up one block, as you could see. We rised it up by one block, and we have this, this small little house on top of it, and then we have this fat thing that we're going to get to eventually. So, yeah, here's that little house. So... There's not much to the... This is like the enter box where you enter and then go down. We have this, um, the brand new vintage... Not vintage, I mean the the newer style fire alarm. Red, not white, but red. It goes down and then it goes down and through there. So we have a bell and a lantern right in the entrance. Here's the other side. Here's the back. I made it staircases so you can like walk up and look in through the glass. And here's the top. It's a letter I because it's branded I. That's the name of the bedroom. So once you open up the doors, you're going to have these two columns right here that um, make the letter I up in the top. And then when you keep on going down... Here's the bedroom. Yes, I know it's pretty small. It's, but yeah. So we have a boiler room. Keep out. Um, we're not using this boiler room because we don't we don't use these boiler boiler rooms anymore. So it's just locked up. We do have a fire alarm system in here. It is a Potter. It is a potter. Wow, this is just sad. We have a Potter PFC series fire alarm panel. And as you could see, the status is green. As you could see, it's green, which means status is normal. With this trap door here. And we still have the newer type of fire alarms. We do have a new type of pool station, too. It's called push for fire, and you do what it says. You push for fire. So if there's a fire, you push that. For these signs, I do not have glowstone going behind the signs because it will get kind of hard to read. So yeah. Now, I took this panel idea, this Potter PFC series, from a panel I saw in public. Like, it was this this potter pfc i do have a picture of this thing this potter thing hold on it's on my phone hold on let me just find it it's in my pictures somewhere uh photos all right here it is August 14th. Come on. Alright, here it is. There is the Potter PFC series panel. And that's the panel that you're seeing right here in Minecraft. That's where I took the idea from. Here it is again. Potter PFC series fire alarm control panel. There's the top. So yeah, that's what I got the idea from. 
and there it is. Um, fire alarm control didn't fit, so I just put fire alarm panel, because you cannot fit control in there. Well, you can, but you're going to miss the letter L, so instead I just put panel. Panel works good. Fire alarm panel, that makes sense. Instead of fire alarm control, fire alarm control, because you cannot fit the letter L on the sign, because you run out of characters to write it down. So yeah, and we still have each one of the newer style fire alarms surrounding the entire thing. There's a total of five of them, I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's four, and then if you count this guy out here, five. So yeah, there's a total of five and one pool station. And again, the boiler room isn't being used. So here we have plenty of beds. We have these cylinders here. I don't know what's behind these. I think there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing behind them. I forgot because I built this building like... I mean this bedroom like... One month ago, I think? Or two months ago. I'm not sure. I don't remember. So here's the bedroom. And here's this dude. Another one. The glowstone is on the inside now. Because of the, the railroad system we have. I cannot fit the glowstone inside. Because if I remove this, you can see there's a block of redstone there. Which goes directly to the tracks. And right behind this, I think... Okay, maybe not. I don't know. So yeah, we have some more beds here. Now, I also made these indents so you can get to the panels easy. The panel and the, the pool thing. So we have some more beds up here, and two more here in the center. Like so. And if you need to exit, it's literally just up here. So we do have villagers that sleep down here, obviously. And of course, uh, these, these branded eye boxes, that underground boxes are built for villagers that do not have houses, like, not necessarily homeless, but they just don't have these houses, they do have a job though, like this, they, like, because there's a lot of buildings built, like, take a look at all these buildings, you cannot build, you cannot build, like, a five-story building in the middle of nowhere, okay, you can right here, but there's not a lot of space. Like, who wants to live in this one, two, three, four block space? That will be very tight to add in, like, 50 beds into, for example. It is possible to fit five stories into a four block wide one, but it's, it's not going to work as well. So that's why these underground ones are built. So right here we have the small little house thing. I built this on top of the underground bedroom. Also, we have quartz stairs to go up and down the the little thing that we have, the underground station. So here's the front of the small little house. It's made out of smooth quartz. As you can see, that's kind of like a theme. Because you can see the quartz. Um, that's white concrete. Oh, actually, we missed this little guy right here. We have more quartz, and then we have, again, quartz. So, as you can see, we have a lot of quartz buildings being built. Um, once once I'm done with this, I'll get to that guy right there. Or I, actually, I think I already reviewed it. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll, I'll do it again. I don't think I did, though. So, here's the side. Here's the back. And here's the other side. Sorry, it's pretty tight back here. Let me out. Thank you. Here's the top. It's not interesting at all. And yeah, so here's the front door. So, and that's right behind the the fifth COV fifth half um city of villagers fifth half. I'm not gonna say COV right now. It's, City Villagers will make sense right now. Um, grocery store. And here's the... It's not the downtown area, it's like just in the center. 
Now, some buildings are not completed. Um, sneak peek, or spoiler alert, we do have another branded eye box right here. COV 6th half hall bedroom. As you could tell by the raised up grass blocks and in the location where this thing is located, yeah, it's pretty massive. So let's go ahead and enter here. Also, this building is not completed yet. I still have one more story to add into it, and then it will be completed. So you will get to see that in the in the part 5 of the series. So going in, here's the toolsmiths. We have a bell on top of it. Fletcher tables. Fletching tables, I'm, I mean. Right? These are... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, they still don't have a Jew, yeah, I, yeah, fletching tables still don't have a Jew, the, the thing, this thing, they still don't have it, so, yeah. As you can see right here, we still have the little staircase thing, like, so you don't, yeah. And right up here is more glowstone, so for lighting, we do have glowstone. We have this cartography table right under the staircases with our lovely cartographer. We have a double loom with another cartography table and another cartographer. We have um, two smokers or double smokers, I'll say that. And we have double butchers or two butchers. And we have another two um, blast furnaces with two armors. And a brewing station on top of that. So it's a pretty compact home. Uh, some some of the stuff is like squeezed in. Like there's not much space. Again I built this. Um, Just like I said for the branded eye bedroom. We built those because there's a lot of houses. And there's not enough beds in the uh, in the in the city for the villagers to sleep in. That's why those being buildings are being built. So yeah, that's pretty much it here. Again, it's, it's compact. So going up to the second story here, we have glowstone lighting, and it's literally just beds. No, seriously. Because again, these villagers, they, they have jobs, but they don't have these... A place to sleep in. And I don't want them just standing there on the floor. Because at night time. I see probably like. Five or nine villagers. Just standing there on the grass. Just like. Dude give me a bed finally. Like dude I'm I'm freezing out here. Like come on. So yeah like this. I don't, I don't know. So here's all these beds. And we have these windows along here. There is no third story. Again, it's a compact house. Compact house. And there's another sneak peek. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and exit here. Close the door behind me. So, yeah. Alright, let's go to this guy that we missed. So, here we, we have this small little house. Again, this was built... This is a very boring house. Like, to be honest, like, I, I did zero effort on this thing. Like, I didn't even care. It's it's a piece of junk, basically. There is a basement, I think. Right, I put a basement in here. Yeah, I did put a basement. So, again, this was built for the another purpose for villagers to not stand in the middle of the night, just standing outside. That's why these are being built, just like that, that, and this. And again, this flower was just still here from the fifth half of COV. So going in, there's no job site blocks in here at all. It's literally just beds. So as you can see, beds, beds. For lighting, we have lanterns. Lantern lighting. Like so. Quartz stairs when you enter. Double dark oak doors. And for the basement. It's beds, of course. So we have more beds down in the basement. For lighting, we have lanterns again. The staircase is one block. 
So yeah. And that's everything. So here's the front. The front. The side. The back. The other side. And the top. So yeah. I think I spent like less than two minutes reviewing that house. So now we're going to get to the other side and we're going to focus on the small little barn. So this barn was brought over here from the f from the barn I built all the way back over here. I think it was wait, no, it was on this direction, right? Where's that? L there it is, that lovely barn. So I made a video on this building a barn in the fifth half of COV. It's literally just a barn with, um, with Jeb, Jebs, and yeah, and yeah. So I built another one. It's completely different from it, but it's right here. Also, notice there's another farm here. And speaking of farms, I did put these stripes of farms down here. I don't, I don't know if these were already here. I'll review them again just in case. So here's the barn. We have two fence posts uh, in the middle. In the front, I mean. We have a pig and a sheep. So here's the front. Here's the side. Here's the back. And here's the other side. And here's the top. So as you can see, I made this cool little design. Well, it's not really cool. It's interesting. And for stairs, we have a stone brick stair. And a spruce door. So going in, we have glowstone lighting. We have a smoke detector in here. And I think there is... Oh, yep, there is. We have a heat detector. Not a life safety device. So this is a heat detector. And as you could tell by the not a life safety device heat detector, I got it from an Edwards heat detector, or EST detector, whatever you want to call it. Edwards or EST, they're both the same. So here's the inside. We have a donkey, a donkey, a cow, another cow, and another donkey. We have two entrances here. We have two pink beds. I don't know why I put pink beds in here. Um, okay, I'm not sure what just happened. That was kind of weird. So we have a loom. We have another loom. We have a crafting table and a chest that is filled with... Um, with those material, farm materials. I think this is actually from the from the branded eye bedroom from the the downtown one over there that I spoiler alerted kind of What's that? Oh yeah, that's the the corridor for the big factory. And yeah. So again, we just have that heat detector up there. Pink beds, those and animals. And we have this dude. Okay. Alright. That's enough of the barn. We have this kind of small sized um, farm here. It's not that big. We have four composters in total. One here and one from the back. We have stone stairs surrounding it. For easy walk up. And we have the farm. Of course. And we have four pieces of water in there. I'm not sure... What happened? How did I break the... I didn't... I la I softly landed on it. How did I break it? Um, here, take that. Because I know you guys need that. Um, excuse me, there's a free seat on the floor. 
Really? No, pick up the seed. No, don't disrespect it. Take it, it's free. Do you know how much bread you can make from that thing? Okay, then. So here's the top of the farm. We have grown beetroot there. I'm not sure where the farmers are. The farmers are for some reason not here. But yeah. Now, I'm, I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure if I already reviewed this or not. But we do have a farm. For some reason, it's not over here. We do have a farm over here. That I built. And here's, there's none up on here, because again, the branded eye bedroom. And yeah, we had two composters here at the end. And that's it, there's just three. One, two, three, and then there's none there. Um, I might build something here, I might not. It seems like there's a lot of animals back here. I can tell. And you're not an animal. Um, so yeah. We have this ginormous, um, hotel. This is probably the most biggest ho five-story hotel I've ever done. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wait, no, that's, it's actually a six-story hotel. Yeah, it's a six-story hotel. It's the most largest I've done so far. And I took this idea from the fifth half of COV here. If we just fly over to the very end of COV, we have to go down through here, though. It'll eventually come up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Just let these chunks load in. There, there it is. So here's where I got the idea from. This is obviously not big at all. That's why I'm calling the one I built in 6th half of COV the largest one. No iron golems allowed. Of course, this is the en entrance here. Whoops. Oh, there is the new type of smoke detector. Or, I mean the old type. It's just the, like the, I don't know. So yeah. That is bedrooms. So for the bedrooms, if you go down here, this is where the bedrooms are going to be. There's not much bedrooms here. So yeah. It's not finished. It's not completely finished yet, so I'm not, I, I know you guys probably want to um, take a look at it so bad. I'll just show you a sneak peek of it, but because it's not finished, I cannot review all of it. I don't understand why these chunks are not loading in. Oh wait, this is the fifth half, my bad. You know, um, Minecraft can sometimes be weird, but that's, I guess, normal, I don't know. So yeah, so here's the front. Again, this is just a sneak peek of the outside. The other side. This side. This side. And quickly, the top. The top is, of course, not finished. There's still going to be, like, an air conditioner up there. Um, another spoiler alert. I have this installed in it. Yeah, we have an EST panel installed in it. And you'll get to see that in part 5. So, um, I'm sorry, this is kind of like a mess, but here is the main, um, the... The, the entrance here where we have 
the middle of the sixth half of COV. So this is dedicated the part the um part one well like the first part of sixth half a sixth half of COV. So this is like the first part of sixth half COV and this is like the second part of sixth half COV. But in together these are still called the the sixth half of COV. It's not being separated or anything. It's just like a quicker name to call it. And this is where it gets separated, right here in this middle. So as you can see, there's what we have. Again, it's not completed yet. It's not fully completed. We still have quite a lot of stuff to add into here. Um, So right here we have a branded eye bedroom. And yeah. Yeah, there's quite a lot of villagers in here. And we have another Potter PFC series fire alarm panel. The exact same one I took out of the branded eye that was back last time. Um, it, it is kind of completed. And I do have a whole ton of screenshots when I was building this, this branded eye building. Or underground bedroom, I mean. I have a whole ton of screenshots, but... That will be in another video. Yeah. And I'm not sure if you can already tell, but we do have another school. Yeah, I decided to build a school in the center here. I also put some bee towers up. As you can see, I have some spore blossoms. And we have flowers. Bedrooms. Um, we have another brain to die bedroom. We have the fountain. And we have plenty of turtles and exowatties or exowattles, whatever they're called. But they're not here. So, oh wait, no. There's one. I'm not sure why he's not in the water. Holy Jesus. How did you, how did you guys get out? Holy Jesus. Okay, so yeah, I decided to I decided to put a whole bunch of animals in the center. And as you can see, those animals decided to go all the way out here. So yeah. All right. So that's everything. Now, this isn't no just regular uh 20 2021 school that people usually build today. This is um based off of a like a late nineteen twenties building, so I have some pull rod stations up because that was what we used to have back then, and we have a boiler room. Yeah, we don't usually have a boiler room anymore, but because this is like a vintage nineteen twenties based school that I decided to build here in the in the sixth half. We have a boiler room with beds, cause again, villagers they do not don't just they just don't. And we of course have the article manual trip bell fire alarm panel. I'm not done building it. Oh, I somehow managed to spawn a chicken. But yeah, they'll be in the in part five so we're gonna review this dude and this this entire hall in part five and what, what whatever building will be built here so yeah like subscribe comment have a good day whoops and i'll see you guys later actually i don't know why i decided to quit the world right now because i'm literally gonna play it again in like five minutes Thank you for watching PC Gaming since 1973. Okay. Like, subscribe, comment. Excuse me. And this video did not go one hour long. Okay, so I was I was wrong. Okay, my bad. Well, it's ten minutes before, but thanks for watching, and goodbye. See you in part five.